After last weekend's deadly mass shootings, there were new calls to ban assault style rifles and high capacity magazines. Here's Washington DC correspondent Trevor Shirley. After last weekend's mass shootings, there are new calls for a ban on assault weapons, but President Trump says it won't happen. Well, I can tell you that there is no political appetite for that at this moment. The president Wednesday, though, did express support for universal background checks, but opponents say a solution with more bite is needed. Most Americans recognize this is a, uh, a weapon that simply does not belong in civilian hands. Andrew Patrick of the Coalition to Stop Gun Violence hopes changing public opinion will pressure Congress to act. I think we are getting to a place where uh, there will be change on this. Right now, there are several bills making their way through Congress, which would make it tougher to buy assault weapons and high capacity magazines. That includes legislation co sponsored by Democrat Dina Titus, which would ban the sale and possession of high capacity magazines. We saw in Dayton this 100 round drum being used, and it killed nine people in less than 30 seconds. Opposed to most of this, though, is the NRA, which says any restrictive legislation would violate the rights of law abiding citizens, telling us in a statement, quote, gun and magazine bans are failed policies that won't make anyone safer. We're going to come up with something that's going to be really very good. But the president has yet to say specifically what that something will be or whose authority will make it happen. Reporting in Washington, I'm Trevor Shirley.